name is Rafi Israel. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I'm here in this video to talk about how to use the PalmScan P2000 with the DSEC mode to measure the thin corneal flaps that can be created during DSEC creation. The, after going to the ESCRS meeting in Boston, it came to my attention that there might be some difficulty in capturing the uh, the flaps uh, while doing these set cuts because there is a uh, water droplet that can come in contact with the, the tips, uh, uh, packing the tip covers. So, as we know, there, there is a great importance and need for having sterile pachymeter tip covers so we can uh, do the cutting of the cornea sterile and measure it in a sterile fashion. Palm scan is the only pachymeter that has the corneal tip covers that can be sterilized in your autoclave. This is an example of such tip. So in this video I'm gonna try to teach you how to capture the flaps using the palm scan very easily. So after placing the tip, sterile tip cover on top of a sterile, uh, s sterile drape environment, we recommend that you place one drop of sterile BSS inside the pachymeter tip cover. Next, or before, we recommend that somebody wipe the entire transducer complex with alcohol so the handle and everything is wiped down with alcohol and at this point place the tip of the transducer on top inside of the transducer tip and now you're ready to go okay so the way that the new system uh, captures is it waits until you place the pachymeter and the tip on the cornea before it's starting the capture process. Now that I've shown you how to uh, properly put the pachymeter tip cover on top of the transducer, now we're ready to actually uh, scan uh, some samples. So make sure that you put the mode of the device on the pachymeter. At this point, go under the preferences and select time capture and the cover on as I have selected here and save preferences you only have to do that once unless you want to change the Pachymeter. setting again so now we're in the uh, capture page and we're in the central corneal thickness uh, mode and the gain is I'm going to put it on the medium Okay, the uh, eye is selected right eye versus left eye at this location. So this over here is the timer, which is basically the amount of time you have after the pressing the start button to put the probe on top of the cornea on the location that you want. So all you have to do at this point is press the start button and pl place the probe on top of the cornea and the measurement was done at 535 micron. Uh, I will repeat this measurement to show you how repeatable it is. Press the start, put it on the location of the cornea you want to measure. 534 micron, which is basically the same as we read before. Again, we do it. Put it on the cornea. 532 micron. So you can see that the measurements are between microns of each other and they're reproducible. And now that I've shown you how to do a central corneal thickness measurement, I want to show you how to do thin uh, flap measurements for creating DSEC. So you first select the mode as DSEC thin flap mode and make sure that the cover and the time capture uh, options are selected. <clears throat> At this point you're ready to uh, most of the time you have to bring down the gain uh, a little bit because I, 
right now I'm using plastic on the cornea you may not have to uh, bring down the gain as much Scanning. let me try again Scanning. 131 micron different location on the film Different location on the communion. Scanning. 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 So you can see that the measurements are very reproducible throughout. That concludes our discussion of how to measure thin flap, uh, thin corneal flap on the cornea during DSEC. Thank you very much.